Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. This is not going to be an unboxing, but I do have six brand new releases to share with you guys and gals. Some of them are upgrades. Some of them are brand new, spanking new designs. And we're going to start with the first upgrade, which is the Sheepdog XL. Oh yeah, you know it's Kaiser time, baby. Would you look at it? Just look at it and all this titaniumness. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at this. Now, this one is titanium. It's a frame lock. And the thing that really sets it off is that hardware. I know some folks would, were saying, oh, you know, I want the blacked out look. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? That looks absolutely amazing. And this is where they normally have the grooves, like in the Micarta version, this one right here that has the grooves. They went ahead and took them all the way through, maybe for a little bit of uh, weight reduction, but it looks very nice. Now check this out. Removable flipper tab. All you have to do is give it about a half a turn, and then over here you get a T6, and you can take this flipper tab off, and when you do that, it's going to look like this one here. So if you wanted to know what this looks like without the tab, that's what it looks like. Now this is from their Bladesmith and Prime series, which means it's a little more primo. You have S35VN blade steel, and just in case you didn't know the size of the Sheepdog XL, uh, yeah, there's a penguin. That's your QSP penguin in between these two bad boys. But let me get these out of the way. This is the one we're here to see. I'm going to take you from one end down to the other real quick and check this out. They did the jimping so good. It is done so well. It grabs the hand. Oh, okay. Back, back, <laughs> back to going all the way down. If I can make it one time without getting distracted, this thing is gorgeous. If you like the sheepdog or the mini sheepdog and you have larger hands, or even if you don't, if you want a conversation piece, whip this bad boy out. It will start a conversation and it is so smooth. Listen to the acoustics on this thing. It sounds like something from Transformers. Listen. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is so awesome. Now, you know the size of my hand. I'll tell you real quick in case you don't. It's four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger, it is seven and a quarter. And look at this. I have a large width hand, so if you have extra or extra, extra large hands, this knife will fit you so well. And I'm telling you right now, your hand is locked into place. You can use this thing to slice. Like I said, if you want to take that flipper tab off, you'll be good to go all day. Now here is one thing to note. It does not have real thick, hefty, beefy blade stock, which means that your geometry is spectacular. Look at that. Sometimes with the large beefy knives like this, you get a really thick blade and they're not super slicey. This dude right here will slice all day long. You could use this in the kitchen without a doubt. And the grip is just fantastic. Kaiser knows how to do their jimping and they go far enough out with their jimping. It is so good. So this is the newest version and I will have links in the description to all the knives that we're going to run through. The newest version of the Kaiser Sheepdog XL in titanium with S35VN stone washed with, I believe these are brass. They sure look like brass and they look so good. If not a conversation piece, I will tell you this right now. I've carried my Sheepdog. This is the one without the flipper. This one, you have both options. I've carried mine many, 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 many times. And it you can't even tell it's in the pocket to be such a large knife, but it just disappears in your pocket. This is the brand new design by Paul Munko and a brand new release from Kaiser. It's the Kaiser Clairvoyant. <laughs> Could you see it coming? <laughs> yeah, I had to. Look at that. Carbon fiber with the titanium for your bolsters. And they just kind of wrap around and blend in. And check this out. Where it blends, you can't feel it. They did such a good job of blending that carbon fiber in with the titanium. And it has a titanium pocket clip. Very sleek. Oh my goodness. It is centered. This has, wait till I tell you about the ergos, which I'm going to in just a minute. I'm just letting you soak it all up. And this is, oh yeah, look at that. Look at that backspacer. That is beautiful. Titanium, love you some titanium. And this is a button lock and it has flipper tabs. And here's your blade steel. It's 35 VN, baby. And pow, right in the kisser. Oh yeah, look at that. Would you look at it? Just look at it. This blade shape is such a good blade shape. Now, if you look here, look the way it flow, the way it flows. 
There's a reason knife designers do things like this. Sometimes you'll look at a knife and be, why does it do that? Because when I put it in my hand, oh my goodness, this thing, it's like an M&M. It melts in your hand, not in your mouth. <laughs> it's kind of the opposite, right? And here we go. Kaiser's spectacular jimping on the top. It's perfect. It is such good jimping. You know me, I could always use a little more aggression, but it works. It locks my hand into place. And here's this side, a little bit of Munko knives. Yeah, clairvoyant. No question as to what this knife is. It has great stone wash finish. It looks so good. It's very even. I love this blade shape. I love this design. You can almost do a little bit of rocking with it. Ooh, and look at this. The, the, the ergos are just so good. The edges are rounded off. They're chamfered all the way around. So clean. And the button, the action on this button, so good. It comes snapping out, and it has a very tactile push to it. Some of the button locks don't get a good lock, lock up. This one gets a very good lock up. It has a very tactile feel when I push the button. I can tell that it is engaged, and it is not a weak lock up at all. The thumb studs, great interaction with my fingers. They fall right where they should. There's room on both sides. I can reverse flick it with my index finger or my middle finger. It is very easy to operate, so smooth. And then look at this, nice looking pivot collar that matches the color of that carbon fiber. That carbon fiber looks so nice. But this is the Clairvoyant. It's very comfortable. I love that it has S35VN. That's one of my favorite steels. I love the way it sharpens. And this is so comfortable. I don't have any hot spots. I could really, really get into doing some slicing with it. And the reverse grip, there's no, no issues whatsoever with the reverse grip. I like how clean the handle is, and you do. I almost forgot to tell you, look at that. You have a recessed or a hidden lanyard pin. So all you lanyard lovers, you're set to go. You can have a lanyard coming out the back without having a hole and messing up the aesthetics. Now, one thing that may be a negative, depending on who you are, is it does not have a reversible clip, which is often the case with the more premium knives, and that is the case with this one. So no reverser, reversal, reverse, reverse, but... Oh my goodness, the action is just, it's spectacular. Here's your acoustics. And it's not bouncing out when it comes down. It has a good detent for a button lock. So that is a major plus. That is the Kaiser Clairvoyant. And before we move to the next one, real quick, in case you wondered about the size, there's the QSP Penguin. Definitely a longer knife. It's about the same width for your handle. This has a little sleeker, smoother, slicker handle, but there you go. There's your size comparison. And now, one of the hot items of 2022 and now into 2023, the Kaiser Drop Bear. This thing has been an absolute beast with the different colors and styles. Oh my goodness, you can get different colored thumb studs for them. These knives are just, they. The, there's a reason why they are so popular. They have the clutch lock that you can adjust the tension of the springs without taking the pivot out. You could take both sides off and adjust the pivots. Well, guess what? Guess what they have now? Now they have a titanium version. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> Would you look at it? Just look at it. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, there is more than meets the eye with this new, it's not only the gradient color of the titanium, and look at this, look at that beautiful, oh goodness, the black hardware looks so good. Besides everything that I've told you, here is the kicker. The steel, this is LC200N. Yeah, that's right, you hurt me, LC200N, which is like 90% corrosion resistant. It's about as corrosion resistant as knife blades in the premium steel category get. Now, if you want to know more about the Drop Bear, you can definitely go check out. I have a couple videos out on the Drop Bear. And besides that, all the knives you're seeing in this video, you can come by Friday nights. Bees Blades, live at the Hive. Oh, right. Every Friday night, 8.15 to 11.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Come and hang out with us. We talk about knives. We do a pizza check. It is a good time. We don't talk about politics or anything negative. We keep it happy. It's family friendly. And if you want to see size comparisons or learn more about knives, it is definitely the place to come and hang out. But the Drop Bear also has this fantastic jimping by Kaiser. I wouldn't mind myself if it was a tad more aggressive, a little more grippy, but it is really good. 
good. As far as jimping goes, I can't complain. This knife fits in your hand so well. You don't have any hot spots. The edges are all nice and soft and rounded. It feels so good. You can actually get in it and not worry about it hurting the back of your hand. And the reverse grip is also great on this knife. This is a fantastic everyday carry knife. And the fact that you can adjust the, the clutch lock it just makes it that much better. This thing has been a game changer when it comes to crossbar locks. And just a quick little size comparison, because you know we got to do it. There you go. There's the Penguin. So this is right in line with the size of the Penguin. If you have one of these, this is a great size comparison knife. I've used it for a long time because these knives, are, they run around 32 bucks. They've been the same price for a long time, and they're a great everyday carry knife. That's why I use this one for comparisons. Now, this one right here, designed by Jonathan Stiles, is a looker. <laughs> and I'm telling you what, look at this. We're just going to start by going around this end. This is all titanium. Your backspacer is titanium, blue anodized. And wait till you see this. Hold on. Hold the bus. Look at this. You have a little inset area of blue anodized titanium in this pocket clip. This knife looks so good. Jonathan Shout out, you did a great job on the design and wait till I show you the blade, but I'm trying not to get ahead of myself because I always do. Really nice blue anodized pivot collar and yes, yes, it is S35 VN. There it is, found it. This is, oh, these all of these knives I'm showing you, they have such good blade steel. And Are you ready? Are you ready? Pow, right in the kisser. Oh yeah. Now how is that for a wicked, wicked looking blade. That right there, my friends, is what you call a tanto and a half. Yeah, just soak it up. Look at this. Hollow ground blade, dual grind on that. Oh, look at that. It's stronger up here at the tip. You know, you got to have a strong tip. You know what I'm saying? Stronger up there in case you actually are going to use this and not make it a safe queen and use it. You could do some scraping with it. Oh, and the ergos. I'm telling you right now, the ergos are great. There are no hot spots. It just melts melts into my hand. When you're holding it, you're not going to have to worry about any any problems with your lockup. And this has good lockup. All the knives that I've showed you on this video have great lockup. And here's your centering. It is, oh my goodness, look at this. You can do it with your thumb very easily. And then you do have some room to sharpen, not a whole lot before you get to the plunge grind. Maybe tighten up that plunge grind just a little bit. But the jimping, check out the top. There we go. We have some jimps. Oh yeah, really good jimps. And the way this is raised right here, it, it is so nice. On some knives, you have to bend your hand down to get your thumb to the spine of the blade. This one right here, your thumb comes out naturally. Look at that. And it just locks me in so well. And there's no question as to what this knife is. It's the Torn Gat. And there you go. Styles Designs. It is, it is very nice. Very slicey. Very, very thin behind the edge. But yet, it has a good blade stock. I have always enjoyed a blade shape like this. I love, the first thing that I look at when I look at a knife is what is its purpose? What can it do? And this one right here is going to be able to slice and then you have a tougher end up here if you want to do some scraping or actually get into something and do some work. And ooh, yeah. And then right here, you have a little bit of a point. You can use that point right there when you're opening things or when you're pushing, if you're opening a package or opening something like this, it's going to push it onto the cutting path. Oh, and then you then, oh, you're in like flint. The reverse grip on this is just as well as the other ones I told you about. There are no problems at all. So if you want to slice open some bags of potatoes or some bags of mulch, you are definitely good to go there. And let me show you what it looks like next to the penguin. Here's your size comparison. It is bigger than the penguin. Blade lengths, uh, not a whole lot different as far as sharpening and cutting edge, but size wise, you do have more handle, more height, more length. And if you're a neck knife fan, check out this bad boy. It comes with the rope and the Kydex sheath, and you don't have to use this little handle. You could just put your finger in here and pull it right out, and you're ready to go. Do some cutting, opening up packages, but let me, <laughs> getting ahead of myself, let me look, give you a good look at this blade. Look at that. I love, 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 love blade shapes like this that are all about utilitarian use. Yes. And let's show you this side right here before I forget. It is the variable Warncliffe. And we have some jimping up here. It's dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig. not too. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So this, this jimping right here has that perfect amount of aggression. Would you look at it? Just look at it. It locks my thumb. My thumb's like, 
not going anywhere. So this is going to be a good one to open packages, do a little utility cutting. I could see the uses for this, especially for someone, maybe you do the arts and crafts, or you just want to have a neck knife. It's virtually weightless. It doesn't weigh anything. You could pull it out and your finger is already ready to go to use it. And look at that. Some of Kaiser's really nice micarta. Micarta! You know I love me some micarta. It's D2 blade steel. And here's this side. Not a lot to show. You don't have to worry about the action or anything like that because what you see is what you get. These, these only run around, I think, like 35 or 36 bucks, somewhere in that price range. You could go check them out. I'll have links to everything that you've seen in this video. But the Kydex sheath, let's see. Uh, make sure I'm putting it in right. And yes, it does click in very nicely. Yes, I love that feature where you could just pull it out by the finger hole. So this is the Kaiser Variable Warncliff. And we've done it with the other ones, why not? Here you go, there's that, and here is the QSP Penguin. Now, if you look at the blade length, uh, sharpened blade length, it is not much shorter than the Penguin. So this is more blade than it is handle. And last, but certainly not least, check this, check this out. Can you tell what it is? <laughs> I, I'm going to tell you right now, this makes me want to make miniature pizzas. Look at that. This is the Kaiser Rocker. Is there any wonder as to why it's called the Rocker? I mean, could you imagine if you had some little baby pizzas, you could just slice them up just like that so easily. But yeah, I digress. Here you go. Now look at this. Now when I first saw it, I was like, why did they take the heel off? There's a good reason. When you go to put this in your thing in your hand, that heel isn't there to catch your finger. That was definitely a well thought out design. This is gonna be a good little utility style knife. You are gonna be able to do some slicing with it. And I would say that I'm probably, yeah, see the way that my hand naturally goes? It's, I, I would call it like a two finger knife, but I can see holding it by the blade to do some slicing. This would be specific. Now, I don't know that there would be any other ways that you would carry or handle this knife. I doubt you would do that. I'm thinking this right here is going to be it. And the jimping, there we go. So good. So good. It's very, it's just as, just as well. It's done just as well as the last one, the variable worn clip. Very good. Very grabby. So this is a nice little neck knife that you're not even going to realize you have it on you until you need a little knife to do something. You can have it under your shirt and you, that has the different holes. You can carry it, configure however you want. It comes with this nice long rope. It is pretty nice. It's uh, 36 bucks, and it is held in that Kydex sheath very well. Here's a little bit of the sound. There you go. So I hope you enjoyed checking out all of these knives. It is always a joy getting to share new knives and new gear with, with all of you, and especially, especially when they're Kaisers, because you know that I am a huge Kaiser fan. Huge. <laughs> I love me some Kaisers. And look at this. You talk about a nice new collection. And every time that Kaiser comes out with new releases, I'll always bring them to you. Sometimes quicker, sometimes not. It all depends on what's happening at the moment. But I hope you all enjoyed this. Let me know. Give me some feedback. Tell me in the comments, do you have a favorite or do you have some favorites? What do you think about the new designs or what do you think about the upgrades? But leave me a comment nonetheless. Go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. And until I see you again or I see you at the live stream, remember, Remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.